This question is about the effect of the magnetic field on the motion of a charged particle. In this question, the positively charged alpha particles and the negatively charged beta particles. A beam of alpha particles and a beam of beta particles are about to enter a region in which a magnetic field is applied in a direction which is into the page. These axes drawn in this region indicate a magnetic field which direction is into the page. In other words, as if there is a south pole into the page and a north pole out of the page. Since the magnetic field is from north to south, this means that our magnetic field is into the page. In this question, he is asking you to sketch the paths of both types of particles when they enter the magnetic field. This question is for three marks. Let's first start with alpha particles which are positively charged. Again, back to Fleming's left hand rule. Fleming's left hand rule is applied also to know the direction of the force on a positively charged particle. This is how we are going to apply it. The second finger, which points with the blue arrow, is for conventional current. In this case, it's for the positive charge direction because we don't have a wire. The first finger points to the direction of the magnetic field which is into the page. In this case, the thumb will show the direction of the force applied by the magnetic field on the moving positively charged alpha particles. In our example, it will be upwards. To draw the pathway of alpha particles as it passes through the magnetic field, we complete it as a straight line until the beginning of the magnetic field. Inside the magnetic field, you will draw a curved path with the direction of the force, which is upwards. When you reach the end of the magnetic field with the curve, you must continue again as a straight line. The curvature will only be in the region of the magnetic field. Of course, the opposite will be for beta particle. The same magnetic field that pushes the alpha particles in a curved path upwards will also push the beta particle downwards. So we will continue again as a straight line until it enters the magnetic field. Then we will draw a curved line inside the magnetic field and then again it continues as a straight line. An important thing you must notice here, the radius of the curve of the beta particle must be smaller because beta particles are affected with the magnetic field more than alpha particles. The reason is not in electricity. The reason is in chapter 4 atomic physics and radiation. Beta particles are much lighter and smaller mass than alpha particles, so they are easily pushed by the magnetic field in this direction. Let's see what are the three marks for. Alpha particles curve up the page in at least half of width of the field, gives one mark. The second mark is for beta particles curved opposite to alpha particles or down the page. Also, you must show that the radius of the curvature of the beta particle is smaller than that for alpha particle.